Good Sabbath. This is the only Sabbath of the year that you get a nice printed bulletin. <laughs> so you have a souvenir you can take home with you. the funny thing that you are going to find some people they will be living with the dead persons and sometimes they are going to find a grave and there is like for example a sign that something here for rent attention to in connection to the biblical story of the Exodus. There's no specific connection identifying any one Egyptian pharaoh to the Exodus, right? There's no, there's no sign that says, hi, I was the pharaoh. <laughs> and so we, we put together pieces of information, stories, particularly a verse in 1 Kings chapter 6, 1 that gives us a, a date connected to the Exodus with the building of the temple. And so most uh, the traditional uh, biblical association for the time of the Exodus is the year 1446 uh, BC. So right now we're at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo and this is where the mummies of Amenhotep and Thutmose III are. And they say they could be the kings during the time of the Exodus and when Moses was alive. And one of the most important people in that new dynasty is a man named Thutmose I. Now immediately you'll recognize with the name Tut Moses, right? You'll recognize a connection to the name of Moses. The word Moses in the Old Testament is not a Hebrew name. It's really 
literally an Egyptian name. The word Moses means to be born. Tut Moses means Tut is born. And so Tut Moses uh, lived a long time. He had a problem though, and that is when he uh, uh, passed away, he did not have a son from his royal wife. So now an Egyptian king could have many, many wives, but there was one primary wife. And the blood of that wife was the most important blood. So that, that's how they make connections. If you were to have a royal connection, it was through the mother. So Tut Moses I did not have a son from the royal wife. So when he died, he had a son from a secondary wife. And that son, Tut Moses II, was married to his stepsister, who was the daughter also of Tut Moses, but through his royal wife. Her name was Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut was married for 14 years to Tut Moses II. He died. And when he died, he did also did not have a son from his wife, his royal wife, Hatshepsut. Um, but he had a, a son, Tut Moses III, from a concubine. And he appointed him to be his successor. They say, uh, according to the uh, Egyptian uh, historians that uh, I've been reading, they say that it was unusual that he would appoint his son before he died. Usually that happens afterwards and works out. But uh, some say that perhaps he thought his wife would be conniving and for power. We don't know the story, but it's true that Tut Moses III was just uh, a young boy at the time. And so Hatshepsut uh, took over control of the government of Egypt. And she actually is shown depicting, depicted as a pharaoh, as a male. So with the fake beard, etc. But Hatshepsut ruled for how many years? 20 years she ruled. And she had all the power. So this morning we went to church at the Heliopolis Seventh-day Adventist Church and then we had lunch and then we went to the Egyptian Museum. Now we're at the Cairo Tower in Cairo. 